Hi everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Cry of Fear. This is the save directly after the last episode. Let me just turn my audio back down. Hey, yeah. Now this is an interesting design. It's a man who's got his whole thing around backwards. There we go. Yeah, you can see that he's like almost crab walking towards us, but crab walking is done crotch first. He's going head first and looking like up at us essentially. Which is a very interesting idea. More converse. However, it does mean that that's another enemy that just looks like a generic serial killer guy. Like so far, yeah, see, look at this. We got knockoff Freddy Krueger. We've had knockoff um, the Halloween guy, Michael Myers. Okay. Um, and I don't know, like, I guess a knockoff Hellraiser. I know they're called the Cenobites, I just don't care. I despise. What's that fucking guy's name? Paul. Clive Barker, that's his name. I don't like Clive Barker. Crickets. The big, those bricks look like I'd take a bite out of them. Police. Hey, were you ever gonna follow up on calling the police about how you killed that guy, you know? Actually. There's a but there's a button that you can hit to turn on the, the the phone stuff. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay, then. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're just kind of friendly. They're like crab... Hmm. Use my pocket full of hoses technique. That's the uh, Swedish police number, by the way. It's good to know the number to call the police in any country you're in. Depressed? We can help. Hey. Depression? It's like a theme or something. Five, four, three, two, fourteen. One, one, three, two, fourteen. Help me, I'm depressed. Hello. Who is this? So edgy. What the fuck are you talking about? I need help, please. God damn it! Help me! 
Five two four seven. Okay. So I think I read that magazine wrong, but then still typed in the number correct. Fuck. Typed in the number correctly anyway. Five two four seven was it? it sure was. So I think that the magazine and door should have been switched in position. So, because I naturally went to the magazine first. I think you should have gone to the door first and be like, huh, I don't know the code. Well, I'll finish exploring the area. Hello? This looks comforting. There's this really, really... Oh, brother. There's this really good scene in the co-op where... Where is it? Where is he? On the stairs, the uh, you walk up some stairs, and the stairs like collapse. I just notice that Q does nothing. God, these things are really annoying. Because if I recall, that chainsaw is a one-hit kill. Something I noticed that they fixed, in Gold Source, um, like in, in Half-Life Original, when you shine a flashlight down a hallway, it'll project on the walls like normal light would. But then it'll also project on the end of the hallway as, as though it's uh, projecting on the world like in two dimensions. So is this the path of inequity? Mysterious, weird voice on the felly tone? <laughs> I like this little cubby back here that doesn't do anything. Because, just for God's sake. And it looks like it crashed the game. They don't want me playing this game bright enough to see it. <laughs> they just don't. <laughs> oh, God, that better not have... Yep. Crash to the main menu. Huh? Well, it's still pretty fucking dark. The thing is, I was hoping that my eyes would appreciate the uh, adjust of brightness after so much darkness. But it's so... Because it took a while to load in, I didn't actually... I, like, you can't notice a difference. I think this game needs a remaster. Because I mean, Christ, a chunk of it is just because this game happens to run on Gold Source. Like, look at this. I like how this guy's crotch is ripped out. Like, look, look at this fucking hallway. I can barely see shit. I feel like I'm playing fucking Dark Souls 2 here. Um, I reiterate, am I still on the path of inequity? Washing machine is going cray cray back there. 
Thank God I've got this flashlight so I can see things. Oh, his arms came undone. Yeah, he's got like barbed wire on his chest and that's what holds his arms in place. That's kind of interesting. Is all these little corners that I keep getting hung up on? <laughs> Mandatory crouch jumps have always been weird to me. I've always felt like a crouch jump was meant to be like a secret hidden technique, you know? See, so it totally makes sense that a, uh, a knife can do that, because... Okay. Um, hmm. Hunk of meat on an operating table. I can see it. I can see that playing to the symbolism and thermography of this game. You know, I just, I just literally just got this feeling as I was looking at that hunk of meat on there. And it's not that I'm hungry. Please, I have some standards. I wish that there was a better fucking Cthulhu game. Like, Cthulhu is, is so iconic. Well, the Cthulhu mythos, really. It's so iconic, and I cannot think of a single good one. Like, the more recent Call of Cthulhu game is actually okay. But it's got so many problems. And pricks to the chest. You know, I just realized what would make this game feel better to me. Map. Uh, I guess I'll go up first. So many survival horror games don't have a real map. Like, um, a, a, a fucking piece of paper in your pocket you can look at. It's, it's honestly, it can legitimately destroy Black Circle. It can destroy, like, your feeling of a, of a survival horror game. Like, um, the, the map system in Sun Hill 2, like, where James will have a map and will just, like, circle doors that he's been through or cross things off they don't even open. Like, it's, it's legitimately one of the best parts of the game. Sun Hill has always had such a good map system. No one gave them any credit for it. And now look, Sun Hill's gone. Dead. Kojima could have saved it. <laughs> am I still mad about Sun Hills? You bet your ass I am. I haven't played Death Stranding yet. I've been such a flake for content creators that I like. Like, my favorite anime studio is uh, Studio Trigger, and I still have not actually seen Promare. It's the weirdest thing. I've got this, like, banshee out outside my window who's, like, screeching at me to see Promare. You know, constantly demanding that I watch Promare with her. I'm kidding, by the way. I love my friends. Hmm. You know, I've never had morphine in real life. I should make that a bucket list thing. Just have some morphine. Morphine's pretty safe, right? I mean, I guess not. People are addicted to morphine pretty commonly. But on the other... Oh, hello, sir. On the other hand, I've taken oxycodone, and that ended up being fine. Eventually, I quit. Ooh, yeah. 
get my get my socks wet. Schlork. Simo hi ha was able to quit morphine. Nice. There should be more horror games with lean. Locked by the keypad, huh? Schlork. Like, I noticed that uh, uh, Q doesn't do anything. Personal note. Jeff, welcome to the team. Supervisor's gone over the basics. Here's a few things you want to know. Cave is wet, cold, filled, puzzle, watch your step. Cigarette breaks every two hours. Supervisor's a dick. Remember the code to section D. Go back and forth all day. Memorize it. Code is 279. Last number is covered in ink. I can't read it. 279. Oh wait, this isn't a mirror. This is... That's a window. I felt for sure that that was a mirror. Mm hmm So I'm guessing that the thing blocking this door can be accessed from this room. That's oil, is it? Okay. So I guess I'll be coming back with a uh, lighter of some kind. Probably a lighter. I always hate whenever games give you the, the thing of like, Hey, you have to choose between being able to see the video game we made or fighting at full potential. Like, I really don't like it, honestly. And like, I feel like it could be better implemented in this game. Like, F does nothing, and F is normally the flashlight button. Oops. Two, seven, nine, four. Two, seven, nine, nine. No shit, huh? Oh, shit, I should have reloaded. All right. Slide. Uh, uh. Do a little shoot up. Uh. Ah. And back to the action. Okay. seen it looks like a puppet like <laughs> red fox shells you know when they give you ammo they gotta give you that goodies just face down in the mud a red jumpsuit apparatus song starts playing <laughs> what it's the 2000s you know cry fear Okay. Well, thank you for waiting your turn, fellas. Uh, very convenient of, uh, of you. Schlork. This guy had a fun time. Seems like he is, uh, split open by a melon baller. Oh, he killed himself with a shotgun. Cigarettes here. You got Delighta. Yeah, I've got this Remington in my shot in in my pocket. Uh, 
All right. So I imagine... I wish I could set like a dual wield to... Uh, to something. Like if I could just set phone and gun on one, I would do that. It would be better for everyone involved. Um, I guess I'll save the shotgun. By the way, did that shotgun... This, this thing's full. That's a full shotgun. I'm sure that guy had a very good reason for killing himself. I mean, not that he's given one. Other than, you know, suicide is one of the themes of, these game, of this game. But this shotgun... Guns don't automatically reload in this game. So this shotgun... Reloaded itself? Oh, jeez, many men. Oh, cool, you can do the button bash thing. Yes. Okay. Key. Or maybe someone saw that he had killed himself with a shotgun. And came along and was like, oh, let me get that for you, buddy. And they put another another shell in there. You know, filled it up for the next guy to use. You know, it probably isn't that hard to make it so if you have a key item in your inventory, using it will just open the door. Construction site. All right. <laughs> uh, decapitation. What the fuck are you doing? Wait. The fuck are you doing? Hey, what do you guys? What do you guys think this guy's name is? You have only a couple seconds to guess. Yeah, it's Mace. Excuse me for a moment. Also, death by decapitation, that's a theme. Click. Yep. Hmm. Really, really uninspired names for these enemies. Also, there's two, like, there's two fights. The two boss fights that you have back to back are both big guys with weapons of melee variety that slowly follow you around. The fact that the room is smaller is fine, but he attacks slower, and I don't think he does a one-hit kill. So, why should I care? Oh wait, kill me. I just realized that I wasn't doing any damage. All right. Can I skip this? Hey, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Go on, you idiot. Oh wait, can I? Go on, you idiot. That's my best Napoleon Dynamite. Is that the key he was talking about? Oh. 
Whoops. Ah. But I'm still dead. That's really funny. That's hilarious, in fact. Right, why don't we just put this on? Hey, wait. Oh. The fuck are you doing? Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Dude. Dude, it's me, wait. Sauce. I would turn into a big fat guy. I'm trying to wave hello, but I've got this mace stuck to my hand. Zappy. <laughs> I like how his body jiggles. Mm. It only works once. Such is life. Damn it. The fuck are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I've taken the wrong door. Okay, why is he sawing his head off? What the fuck are you doing? Wait. Oh, that's the key. He eats it. I see. Oh. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, game just kind of stopped me from moving there. I think. Oh my god, I'm still stuck. Oh my god. Is this for real? That's that's fucking stupid. <laughs> How dare you take my victory from me? Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Doing I'm sure you're all familiar with the term LP tax, if not oh, literally through the term, just through the idea of it. But uh, LP tax is whenever someone is playing a video game, you know, let's playing, as you will. Uh, power, turn on, turn on. Wait. Oh my god, he stood up on the little step thing, and it didn't count. That's bullshit. Ugh, brother. Something big to cut free that key. So I'm guessing... One of these won't work? Let's take a look at this design. It's just a fat mummy with a big spiked mace. What a crappy boss. Hold on. Is there another door in this room? There is. Oh, 
I like how he crucified this guy. Not that he's got a good technique, I just like that he did crucify him. We're in locker rooms now by the looks of it. Good morning, dear. Why I woke up, everyone? Mostly because I uh, didn't sleep all night. I fed the cats already. Hmm? A saw. Okay, I guess I'll just go hack that key out of his body, save, and actually no, I'll save and I'll start the next episode with that. Oh, excuse me, Dad. Let me get my my good old combo going. Oh, really? Come on. Jeez, Pete. Yeah, looking back, I'm not sure on this game. It's an okay game, I suppose. I think the fact that it's free and the fact that people thought it was cool really helped, like, buoy it along. All right. Now I will save. So, I've been Alfred, this has been Cry of Fear. Uh, thank you guys for coming to say hey. Hang out with me, play Cry of Fear. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.